Hey guys, um, I make this video because um, I've been um, uh, using Windows 10 after about 10 years in Mac OS. So, uh, in this time, I would uh, show you how to uh, install uh, Novation Audio Hub uh, on your PC or on your Windows 10. Okay, first things that you want to do is, uh, of course, you want to register your product. And um, for Mac OS, you actually don't need to uh, have a specific driver for your Audio Hub uh, 2x4. But um, in uh, Windows, uh, apparently, you need to download the driver from the uh, Novation website. Okay, uh, right now, I already have. Uh, uh, my innovation audio hub set up and uh, later on I'm gonna show you how to configure your innovation audio hub uh, audio interface in your Ableton okay if, uh, we're gonna first thing first now um, to um, download the innovation audio hub software driver from the innovation website so you go to innovation.com uh, just type it on Google and then you find innovation okay and then you go to uh, product of course all range of product you can also search by category of product okay and then you just type out your hub audio hub whoops okay so basically it's hopefully it's gonna come sorry for take a long because my internet's done oh, very good uh so that's taking too much long so just download maybe Click download and then you specific all the software you need. So Audio Hub 2x4, and then you download the 2 point installer Windows. Okay, you download this one and you're gonna save the file and you save the file. Okay, right. Um, after when it's done, uh, just um, double click on it and run the installation. So you're gonna run the installation. Okay, I will skip this part because I have already mine set up and I'm going to show you uh, next how to uh, actually configure the um, Novation Audio Hub since after the setup done. Okay, so uh, okay, so basically Novation Audio Hub here you have on my start menu um, uh, or oh, apps is Novation Audio Hub, so Audio Hub. Um, there's a recording balance and mixing and um, most of the time um, for Ableton use um, I um, I consider to always use mixing okay but you can use balance also if you have like balance output I'm gonna explain you later on about this okay so you basically click okay or from one of these three options that you have you probably might want to have a recording also but this is actually what you want to do and um, good luck if there is any question just uh, drop me a line and I'm gonna be very happy to help you with your problem okay see you thanks